Apple has recently refreshed its website with a new MacBook Air, spring iPhone cases, and watch bands. However, according to leaks and rumors, we could expect more product releases any day now. There are speculations all surrounding the iPad Pro and iPad Air. Let's see what's in store for us. Yeah, so literally like last week, Apple announced a new MacBook Air. They just popped it on their website one morning and boom, there it was. So like, is Apple going to do a spring Apple event? Well, it's not looking that likely. You know, seeing that they did not want to put the MacBook in an Apple event, you know, they could have had like a 20 minute, you know, event for that. And they also could have added these other devices like the iPads. They could have made it maybe a 40 minute Apple event. Uh, they just don't do spring annual events every year. It's just not something they do all the time. It's like every once in a while, they'll do, they'll do a spring Apple event. You know, I feel like Apple's trying to play one on us. You know, they know the league community does very well at predicting, you know, when and what they're doing. So maybe they thought they would throw a curveball at us and just kind of like randomly one day, maybe they'll pick like a different day that they don't usually do in a different time. And then poof, they'll, it'll just show up on the website. Yeah, but enough of that speculation. What are we actually seeing? Well, it's said that there's gonna be a new iPad Pro and iPad Air. The iPad Pro is gonna come in 11 inch and 13 inch size. It's gonna feature the new OLED display panel on both models. It's gonna have better HDR colors along with a faster refresh rate that we've had and it's gonna provide greater power efficiency. We've also heard reports that it's gonna feature a glass back, possibly of some sort, a little bit of a design refresh making it thinner slimmer and just all around something new that's what we are expecting uh, but it's just unclear of you know exactly what that looks like other than a few concepts that we've had for a few years and yeah that will feature the m3 processor currently it features the m2 processor on the ipad pro they're going to be upping that to the new m3 there's been reports also with the new magic keyboard maybe having a aluminum finish also a new Apple Pencil in the works, possibly released when this new iPad drops, you know, to go with the Pro. It's just unclear of features with those accessories as those don't have, they're just, they're not leaked about much. They, we just heard that, hey, there's a new Apple Pencil in the works, but as far as design, features, whatnot, we have no idea. And then we are expecting a new iPad Air. What is this gonna look like? Well, basically you're going to get the same 10.9 inch display but into addition they're going to add a 12.9 inch display uh, it gets very confusing very fast because there are already so many different ipad models that you can buy right now so they're basically going to have the ipad pro without promotion without the oled display panel at a cheaper price because it's just gonna be called the iPad Air. It's pretty much what it's gonna do. Probably have the M2 chip, nothing drastic gonna change with that. That's worthy of a website refresh because it's like nothing really changed. I mean, I, I wish there were more leaks about it, but there they, just aren't. You know, the iPad Pro is gonna be the light of the show if there was an Apple event. And it looks like the iPad Air, it's gonna be nice to have that 12.9 inch, you know, uh, 13 inch whatever display for the Air. But yet again, it's probably gonna be like $100 of a difference to the Pro. You know, all the iPad models, it just gets confusing and I feel like Apple is kind of overlapping themselves there if they do that. But, you know, maybe they'll point out something that, you know, really defines why and what the difference is. You know, ProMotion, it's a really nice feature and the OLED display panel, it's really great. But are those two things worthy? of making a whole nother product line. I mean, yeah, have the smaller display, the 10.9, but do you really need to make two size models for that? I don't know, maybe I'm just overthinking this. You know, it's great that they have different options, but what are they trying to accomplish here, you know? Yeah, yeah, so back on what I was talking about with the pricing, uh, the iPad Air probably will say the same price, probably like a hundred, $150 difference between the size models. But when you're looking at the iPad Pro, it's been reported that it's gonna get way more expensive 
than it ever has been. You know, with the current iPad Pro coming in around $799, they're going to, according to the reports, it's going to be $1,500 for the base model. That, that rumor is kind of confusing there. I kind of feel like it's probably for a higher storage option. But if it does, in fact, get more expensive, $1,500, you know, $1,500 versus $700. Or excuse me, I meant $7.99. That just kind of, whoa. Yeah, so that's going to make a lot of people not be able to afford this. Uh, different price range completely. But yeah, there is a price hike, you know, report. Now, have those always been correct? No. Have they been because of the higher storage options? Yes. So while I'm not, you know, I don't know what's going on 100%. You know, I just see the reports. I kind of feel like the reports aren't accurate on that. I could be totally wrong, but that's just my, you know, speculation there. We'll just have to wait and see, you know. Yeah, so with the iPad Pro and the iPad Air, that is what we're looking at for a refresh in the coming days or month, depending on how long Apple draws this out or they don't do anything. It's just hard to say. And, and I know I might sound like a little bit of a hypocrite here i did just purchase the ipad pro if you can notice the box back there and right here got the ipad pro uh yeah so i did actually buy something that's probably gonna get refreshed <laughs> for very soon but i can explain and i'll have a video on that very soon I literally just got it, so I'm still setting it up, trying to figure out things. But you're still gonna be able to find the iPad Pro secondhand, used, and possibly new, and refurbished, and it's just, you know, iPads, they don't change that drastically as iPhones do. You know, with iPhones, I feel like if you're up to, you know, up to September and you're like, I'm, I'm wanting to get a new iPhone, and you see these great deals on these carriers, uh, just don't don't fall for those because something better is gonna happen But you know with the iPads hardly anything changes year to year. This is actually the first year You know since the 2018 iPad Pro that we're gonna get like a design refresh According to the reports, you know, I mean this design looks very familiar To the 2018 iPad Pro you would probably be mistaken But this is in fact the brand new fourth generation 11 inch iPad Pro just from last year, 2023. Yeah, so I don't wanna to ramble too much, but I definitely will have a video out here within the next week. So be on the lookout for that. If you made it this far, you guys are real ones. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. I'm definitely curious of your thoughts and I'll definitely be sure to keep you guys updated. So stay tuned for more videos and you guys can check out this playlist right over here get caught up on all the latest Apple news, everything that's going on. I try to keep you guys updated. Check it out and I'll see you guys over there.